Hello, and today I'll be teaching you how to install on Google Chromium on Ubuntu. Now, to start off, you're going to need to go to the on Google Chromium GitHub page, which I will link in the description below. And then from here, you'll have to find the downloads, then go to download binaries here. And for Ubuntu, you can just click latest. Now, keep in mind that there are a lot of operating systems that this will run on. And it doesn't just support Ubuntu, so you can run this on Windows, Mac, Arch, just a lot. Anyway, but this video will be covering Ubuntu and basically the same steps for Debian, actually, if you want to install on any of these versions. So you just want to go ahead and hit add repository and install manually. This is the way that I like to do it. Um, you can obviously just install it from these files, but I'm going to do it this way for this video. So Ubuntu Focal and Ubuntu Bionic. Ubuntu Focal is the newer version of it and Ubuntu Bionic is older. I know I'm using the newer version, which is Focal, so I'm going to be using that, but you need to find out what version you're using before you use, uh, pick one of these commands to run or else it probably won't work on whatever you're using if you get it wrong. So let's go ahead and just copy the first command here uh, and hit copy and paste that into the command line um, and enter our pseudo password and it should just echo something out like that. Um, and then I'm actually going to install curl because the next command requires me to use it and I know I don't have it installed on this computer. Okay, now that's done, we can just run the next command. So let's copy that and paste it into here. And now we're going to run sudo apt update. And now we can just run sudo apt install on Google Chromium. And why? Okay, so now that that is done, we can close the terminal and just search for Chromium and launch it up. Now that you're in here, you're probably going to notice immediately that just typing in anything won't actually search. It'll just um, try to go to it. And that's because no search engine is set by default. So you're going to want to go to settings search engine and then pick what search engine that you want to use i'm going to use duckduckgo but of course you can use any of the others and you can add your own um but now as you can see i can search things so now you're probably going to want to add browser extensions which is a little tricky but you only have to do it once so it's not that hard you're going to want to go back to the GitHub page and go to the FAQ. And on here, it'll say, can I install section downloading CRX? So let's go to the Chrome Web Store and just click on it right here. And I'm going to just try and download uBlock, uBlock Oregon. Okay, and as you'll see, we don't have a button here that says add to Chrome because it's blocked out everything relating to Chrome. So for this, it has a little template here. We have to put our browser version and then the extension ID, but this won't actually work because we haven't enabled a flag yet. Okay, so we have to actually set always install extension line request. Yeah, so here we have to change this flag 
So let's go to Chrome. Chrome flags. Hashtag extension mime request handling. And then set to always prompt for install and hit relaunch. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just copy and paste in the template that he's given us on the FAQ page. I'll actually link it down in the description so it's easier. And for browser version, I'm just going to go into about Chromium uh, 87. So, so for that, we can just type in 87. Oh my gosh, not 87, 84.0. And then for extension ID, we can just copy and paste this right here. Um, and now when we hit enter, it should prompt us to install uBlock Origin. Yep, okay, and let's just hit add extension. And now we have uBlock Origin in the browser. I'm actually gonna turn this off now, back to the default, since we don't need to use it again. Unless, of course, we're trying to install other extensions. And there you go. Basically, you have set up a search engine and an ad blocking extension or just any extension you really want to install in on Google Chromium. Thanks for watching. I hope this all worked for you and goodbye.